What's up guys, it's MFF here. Welcome back to another video. This was some trout fishing on Iowa last week and before we got all the snow, it was excellent conditions, the rivers were running and clear, and the fish were eating scuds. I hope you enjoy the video. There we go, hooked up. Oh. Little guy. Decent bow. Deep ass pool right here. This pool's stacked. Oh. Nice, beautiful rainbow. Release arm. Go on. Oh, nice guy. That's why they key in on, they're such a good winter pattern to fish for. Release on that guy. <clears throat> Rather this deep hole here, I'm catching a ton right in here. I bet you there's probably 200 fish stacked up in there. I've hooked and probably landed five, hooked and lost like four or five more. I mean, you get a hole like that, that just keeps producing. And, and it's a clear day. I mean, it's clear water, clear day. So just a deep hole where they're definitely stacked up in. Brownie in the fast water. Brownie in the fast water. Decent brown, there we go. Look at that, nice little brownie. Pretty good size one, I think. Go look at it. I can even net it too. You want me to? It's up to you. It's probably about a, I think I like a 14, 15 incher. You can get close on it. I'll bring them into you. What is it, a brownie? I think it is, yeah, brownie. I just don't want him to tear after me. Yeah, no, I won't let him. They, if he's coming to you, oh, he's a nice one. Oh, I'm turning him. When I turn them, you just gotta come in and get them. You just gotta come in and get them. You gotta, you gotta get them. Yeah, get them. Oh. Get them, get them, get them. Yup, yup. Bet. That's a nice one. Oh, that's awesome. Does it look better? Yeah. Beautiful buck, 15 inch shirt. <laughs> Big shoulders are a skinny girl, but, or skinny guy, but beautiful. Beautiful Iowa Brown. Close out the day, sun is setting. Maybe we'll get a few more, but cannot complain about that. No Beautiful complaints. fish. I'm gonna get an underwater release on it. Oh. 
she goes. That's sick. What a beauty. Thanks for the net. So the scud was the killer on this trip. I literally caught all my fish kept for like two on the pheasant tail, and it was just killer. I mean, I caught tons of fish on it, drifted it, weighted it, had to get it pretty down there on the bottom where the scuds do live because they're not really a merging type of nymph, but it worked really good, and there was a lot of rainbows and browns up there eating it. I'll show you the patterns here. The color didn't really matter, but I fished a pink, a gray, and more of like an orangish. I love the center weight ones, though. It really gets them down with the tungsten bead and gets them right in that feeding alley for those winter rainbows and browns. Brownie. That's a pretty ball. Wow. Pretty, pretty fish. Some of this big girl. She's lively, lively. Like three or four. <laughs> you can fish two out of this because you can just stand there. You know what I mean? I should be the only fish I catch. <laughs> Bro, look at this fish. It's so dark. Oh God, it's a beauty. It's like full spawning color. After catching that brown and those more rainbows in that spot, we had a little bit of daylight left. So I ran down to one small section, a public section on this river, and I decided to give it a shot. And I caught this super, super nice brown. Unfortunately, GoPros aren't recording, but I'll show you guys the fish anyways. It's the female ver cousin of that one I caught earlier. I'd say nice, oh, get him up to the camera here. I'd say it's a nice uh, 15, 60 incher, 16 incher, just a hen. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna go for a lease on her right now. Get her back in this run. There she goes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two next week with some of the from day two of that trip. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos of the winter trout. And stay tuned for later in the spring for some steelhead coming up. Feel free to like and comment.